Well, here we are down in the Bal Irene on a beautiful Sunday afternoon where all we have left is remnants of wind. Hi, I'm Brian Peterson, and I'm the author of Understanding Exposure and Brian Peterson's Field Guide to Understanding Photography. I'm here with a group of my students in uh, the Bowery, and we are about to have some fun with panning. I'm going to be the guy who just took a picture of a person who preferred that I didn't take a picture of this person, and she's going to chase after me. My students are going to shoot that scene that's unfolding against this beautiful graffiti-colored wall, uh, and it's going to look kind of funny. So, anybody can do this. How do I know that? Because it's been done many times before. This group of students, we're going to see all six of their attempts at this idea, again, called panning. Simple idea to do here. It's an overcast, bright afternoon. They're going to be shooting shutter priority at a 30th of a second. And subsequently, as I'm running with my girl, who doesn't want to have had her picture taken, chasing me with an umbrella at a 30th of a second, we will be sharp, the wall will be streaking. That's how you know there's motion in this shot. Let's see how all this unfolds. Okay, Jill, are you ready? I am ready, and you guys ready? Go. One, two, three. Okay, there you go. That's... Oh, I got it. Oh, listen to the excitement coming from over here. Oh, the yeah. student gallery, they're excited. Why shouldn't they be? Take a look. All six examples taken by these same students. <laughs> Well, as you just witnessed, we looked at six wonderful images. Some of those were shot on a tripod. Some of those were shot handheld. That choice is yours when it comes to panning. Until next time, this is Brian Peterson saying in post-hurricane Irene, you keep shooting.